If the only tool you have is a hammer, you tend to see every problem as a nail. Hey what's going on weavers, Tim here again, and this is the simplest version of the Monkey's Fist Impact tool to date. It can be attached to a key ring and you can even adjust the length and have it wrapped around your wrist. Here's how you can make one. We're going to need some paracord, a 1 inch steel ball, and also optionally a key ring. To start this one off, we're going to begin from one end of the cord, and with our steel ball in between your index and middle finger, we're going to start wrapping five passes away from yourself around the ball, going from the left to the right. After the first five passes, you're going to pivot 90 degrees and wrap another five passes perpendicular to the first set of passes. Keep the cords neatly stacked and tangle free, wrapping your way up the ball. With that second set done, remove your fingers from the first set of passes and turn the piece to the left. And then from here we can pivot and do the last set of passes going through the spaces above and below the ball bearing. Again, keep those cords neatly stacked and next to each other. So just pass the cord back and forth around the middle section of the steel ball and get those last set of passes in. Try to keep the cords centered in the middle as best you can. Now with all three sets done, we're going to start cinching our slack out. Working from the short end of the cord where you started, you're going to pull the short end towards the monkey's fist and then work that first bit of slack all the way out the longer end of the cord. Keep track of the direction of the slack and where it's going so that you're not just pulling the slack back and forth in the monkey's fist forever. Once we've done that, this is where we should be. Now to make a nice clean monkey's fist, we're going to clip off the end of the very short end of the paracord, then melt it with the lighter and pull that end into the monkey's fist just under the set of passes it's closest to. Be careful and do not pull it all the way through. Then from there, work this remaining bit of slack through the monkey's fist to the other side one last time. If you need additional tips on working slack out of monkey's fists, I have a video on that. Finally, to complete the impact tool, I'm going to form a bite on my long end and bring the running end back to the monkey's fist, a section about 10 inches long. Then bend the core back one more time. And then from there, start coiling the remaining cord around this short section. Keep wrapping until you reach the end of the loop and with the running end, pass it through the loop. And then pull down on the other end to close the knot. And for the remaining bit of extra cord, just snip it off, melt with the lighter, and press down on it to lock it in place. This super simple impact tool is more or less done. If you want to attach it to a keyring, you can simply use a cow hitch to loop it on, or of course you can just open up the keyring and pass it through. We now have an impact tool that can be adjusted in length, and you can even adjust the loop as a wrist lanyard. 